Now this illustration deals with a 208 volt, 120 volt, single phase, three wire system. Now notice in the uh, service equipment panel board now, we have three conductors coming in. Instead of having a jumper from one leg, L1 to L2 and so forth, uh, we have individual conductors terminating. So we have two uh, hot conductors that we can measure to ground or two ungrounded phases, however you might want to uh, state that. But notice that in this illustration we have a 100 kVA transformer. So notice in the calculation amps of the transformer, the formula is the same. We have amps equals to kVA times 1,000. But we divide by 208 volt instead of 120 in the second step there. Uh, when I say step, it's amps equal uh, in parentheses 100 times 1,000 divided by 208 volt. And we come up with 481 amps. Now, uh, L1 and L2 would be capable of taking on 480 amps of load. Now, everything else would be the same. The note one would be just as we quoted earlier, that you uh, look at the amps and notice it's 481, so there's no rounding up or rounding down. We stay at that value. And, uh, and again, if it was 481.5678 uh, or 9, you could round it up to 482. Uh, but as a reminder, if it, were, if it was 481.432 or 1, then it would remain at 481 as uh, permissible and 220.5B as, uh, as in boy. Now note 2 just points out that uh, we would reference 250.262 and 250.20B, which would uh, kind of illustrate to us that we'd have two ungrounded conductors with a neutral and uh, we would uh, ground the grounded conductor R neutral to earth ground in accordance with uh, 250.50 and 250.52 as well as 250.53. Now notice if the transformer uh, is grounded then we have to pull a grounded conductor in regardless we connect it to the grounding terminal bar in the service and we connect it to earth ground. So note two, uh, suggesting that we review 250.26 uh, uh, item two, as well as 250.20b adds the information uh, that we need to know uh, exactly what has taken place when we ground the transformer, ground the service, and bring in a grounded conductor that is capable of carrying the fault current if such a condition should occur uh, as well as providing enough amps for neutral connected loads. And just as a reminder, usually the ungrounded conductors will be uh, uh, maybe two sizes or three sizes larger than the neutral without the neutral conductor uh, carries the same amount of amps to uh, ground uh, for the neutral as the phase-to-phase -phase voltage. So kind of keep this in mind as we go through this presentation. Uh, and some of this information I'm giving you now, you will see an illustration that will illustrate it just as, I, just as I'm pointing it out to you. So this figure 4-2 illustrates 208, 120 volt single phase, three wire systems, and how we would obtain the amps uh, to determine the size of the conductors that we would uh, uh, terminate in the service equipment uh, between uh, or say from the transformer to the service equipment.